I'm Andy Kershaw. Today we're going to look at how Oracle Web Center Connect can integrate with applications. Specifically, we're going to look at how Connect Conversations can integrate with Oracle Siebel CRM and together provide exceptional levels of customer service. Web Center Connect is Oracle's new branding for our enterprise social software. Within the Connect family, Oracle on Track Communication provides stream based conversations that can be associated with business processes and activities. For example, service agents can use conversations to resolve a customer's problem. They provide the social capabilities that enable business users to quickly correspond and collaborate to drive business decisions. By integrating conversations with Siebel CRM, we're able to provide key benefits for superior customer service. Customers receive a great experience when they deal with agents that are quickly able to find knowledge that is not commonly known or easily searchable or documented. Agents are able to quickly communicate with experts and deliver correct, reliable information without handing the call off to others. Service responses meet the expectations of the modern social consumer who are used to being able to find information from multiple channels in real time. Customers have their issues resolved on first contact through a fluent and coherent conversation, and a service organization reduces the time and number of interactions required for ticket closure, a key indicator of a successful service organization. For this demonstration, I am playing the role of a customer service agent for a fictitious company called GoTel Communications. I have a customer on the line with a problem with our mobile phone location finder service. The customer is called into the call center as her husband's phone is lost and she's trying to locate it. The initial problem is that the service is not yet activated on her phone. Once this is resolved, the customer then tries to install the phone finder application onto her phone so she can track her family's handsets anytime. Unfortunately, this creates another problem. There are three main interactions within the demo. First, I as the agent get help from a colleague, Richard. Secondly, I need to find a product expert, in this case Frederick, to resolve the issue. Finally, I need my supervisor, Indira, to approve the solution. To begin the demo, I'm logged into Oracle Siebel's CRM service application. Uh, I have a service request. Uh, already opened automatically through the call center, and I jump into that specific service request. We see that the summary for the service request is the activation on the lost phone is the issue. Now, it turns out that I, as an agent, uh, although I'm relatively aware uh, of the family locator service, I'm not really into the detail. So what I need is some help. So what I'm going to do here is create a new conversation, and I'm going to call it uh, help with the family locator service. And in real time, I create a new conversation, and this conversation is now specifically associated with a service request, and I pop it out to be able to collaborate on it. By popping it out, we still have the full context of the application behind, so I still can see the service request details, and I can work independently in the conversation. Now, I know that my colleague, Richard, has some information on this. Rich is another agent. I'm not at this stage looking for another expert. I'm just looking at someone that I already know has, some more, has a better understanding of this service. So I need to add Richard Taylor into this conversation. I look him up, and I can find him very quickly against the directory, and I add him into the conversation. Say, hi there, Richard. Have a caller on line with an issue with the family locator. Now, I can see from some additional information in the conversation that Richard is available on the system, so he is online, so I am going to be able to get his response pretty quickly, but actually he's not in my conversation. Now, because I've got a call on the line and this hasn't come through one of the less synchronous channels, I'm actually going to buzz him. I'm going to get him into my conversation as soon as possible. What I've done is sent to Richard an alert that I want him in this conversation. I need him to help me right now. I see from the change of uh, uh, picture brightness that he's now appeared into my conversation and is going to be able to help. So he said he's typed in. I can see he's typing saying he's happy to help, which is great. It means he's not uh, busy with another call at this moment. And... Uh, he's going to be able to suggest some advice to me. Uh, I can respond to the specific questions that he's asking to add fluency into the conversation. Yes, it is there, but she is not sure she activated it. 
many suggested actually it's maybe easier if you just upload the document explaining it. Well, that certainly is going to help uh, uh, me quickly come up to speed. He has access to collateral very quickly rather than me searching for it, so I'm able to get that information from him very fast. Just a couple of other things to note about the, the, the conversation. Obviously, this is persisted, and uh, uh, the, the, there's always going to be a user requirement to clean up any mistakes that they make. And, and sometimes in service requests, the wrong information is put in there, first of all, and we want to be able to clean that up straight away to make sure that that misinformation isn't propagated inappropriately. What I can, therefore, do is go to one of my messages, and I'll just do this as an example for you, is I can uh, edit that message. So I can add, in this case, some more information into the, uh, the message. And that's going to help me refer back to it. But obviously, I could have just used that to clean up a typo or a mistake. Now, one thing we want to be very sure of is that uh, going forward, that I don't alter the conversation in a way that would be misleading to other reps or sorry, other agents that are reading this conversation. So we've actually indicated here that this message has been edited, and the full history of those changes is available always in the conversation. Now, Rich has posted in this document with some additional information. And if I click on it, I can preload it into the screen. I can zoom in and look at some more detail. And that looks like the information that I need. I'm just going to highlight this section and annotate and say, that looks like the right info. Publish that back into the conversation. And you'll see that the annotation that I just made on that document is available now in the conversation for us to come back to. So at this point now, I've managed to communicate with Richard, or I've managed to collaborate very quickly with Richard. He sent me the information that I needed because he had his hands on it much more easily than I would have been able to find it. I can now go back to the customer and uh, get her to uh, activate the service, and then she'll be able to find that phone. So jump forward a couple of minutes in time, and the customer has been successful with the activation of the service, and she's discovered where the phone is. However, now that she has found the phone and her initial problem is solved, and this is an ever common scenario in service in, in call centers, now that her initial problem is solved, we actually have a new issue in that she would like to install the service on her mobile device. So this, this isn't the find me service. This is the actual location or the locator information service. So what this is going to enable us to do now that she's seen how useful it is, is to be able to track the phones that are in her family, her daughters, for example, from her mobile phone. So wherever she is, to be able to find that, uh, that phone and uh, uh, be able to track its location. But in trying to enable that service while she was uh, 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 talking, she discovered that it doesn't work on her Motorola phone. So what I need to do now to keep this down to a single call resolution is find an expert that can help me resolve why the service won't install onto her phone. So I'm going to start a new conversation. So we're not limited to single conversations against the service request. And I can have specific conversations against specific areas of expertise. So I'm going to create a new conversation, say, can't install location services on phone. I create a second conversation associated with the service request. But in this case, the problem is I don't know who to help, who can help me or who has the skills that can help me solve this problem. So I have a customer who can the location here on the phone. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a capability of the on-track conversation uh, called a gadget. And what we have here is an example gadget that is going to allow me to look up expertise that exists in the organization. So I add a gadget to the conversation. So I'm going to add this expertise finder. Give it a quick name. To the conversation. So in a customer implementation, we aren't 
expecting the customer to manage their expertise to newly manage them in, in a different system, the gadget model allows you to bring that integration into on track, into the conversation, to search against the existing expertise base that most organizations have and particularly call centers have. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to search the expertise base that's available to me today for someone that knows about Motorola phones. I could get a list back, and I noticed from this list, and obviously we could bring more information back and have richer profiles, but I noticed from this list that Frederick Hultrans, who I know is a product manager on the phone side, uh, is likely to be able to help me. So I add him from the gadget into the conversation. So rather than just looking up a, uh, a user within the, the, the directory, this time I've looked a user up based on their skill set, and now I've added them into the conversation. I can close that gadget, and again, I can see Frederick is online, but he's not in my conversation. Again, I'm going to want his immediate attention, so I buzz him, and I can say, Frederick, I have a customer with an issue with the install. Add a bit more information to that. Can you help me, please? Her phone is a Motorola at Z6C. He's suggesting that he uploads a list of compatible phones. That would be great. Uh, so he's now put this list of phones into the conversation. And if I view that, I can see this long list of phones uh, that are available. And if I scroll down, the Motorola does look like it's supported. But in fact, it's not that specific version. So the problem that we now have is that the customer has bought a phone. It's not the, the actual phone type, but the specific version of this phone is no longer supported. So what I'm going to need to do now to keep this customer happy is to bring in the supervisor to see if we can solve this problem. Thanks. I think the upgrade is a good idea. So what we're doing here is that classic service scenario of escalating up the problem to my supervisor to help resolve the problem. So I'm going to quickly bring the supervisor into the conversation. And by doing so, she's going to have full access to the full conversation. We'll be able to quickly come up to speed. I add her into the conversation. She's online. And the easiest way to solve this very fast, rather than me typing, is to start a quick call in the conversation. I'm going to get it, get it to phone me. You'll hear it. That's the phone in call. So now the conference call is in progress, and Indira and I can chat away, and then we can quickly agree that the uh, the, the upgrade uh, is the appropriate uh, thing to do uh, for the customer. I'm going to hang up the call, and you'll see that the call now quickly gets processed. We brought in my supervisor. We had a quick conference call. We resolved the customer's problem. We now have a, a route forward for her. I can now quickly go back to the customer and say, this is the problem. We've agreed an upgrade for you. We'll send those details out. So rather than the service request ending at a problem point, we've turned that into an opportunity to give the customer an upgrade and to turn that uh, issue into a sale. Note, after all of that, though, all of the conversation information is located and is explicitly coupled to the service request. So that if in future we want to understand how that service request is resolved, all of that information is then available. To conclude, in that demonstration we saw how Oracle's enterprise social software integrated with Oracle Siebel CRM enables exceptional customer service. The purposeful collaboration within conversations led to first contact resolution with the customer who only had to deal with a single customer service representative. Experts and expert knowledge was readily available and accurate information was communicated to the customer. The agent was able to respond in real time, exceeding the customer's consumer's social media based expectations. 
We hope you enjoyed this short introduction to WebCenter Connect and thank you for your time and look out for more WebCenter updates coming soon.